What's up, y'all? How's everybody doing tonight? I hope everybody's doing very well. Tonight, I'm doing a nightly shave for you. Um, I've decided that I'm going to do uh, a shave a week. Uh, my schedule between my work and my business, uh, <clears throat> it's really tough to get in these videos as much as I'm starting to enjoy doing them, but the time that it takes to edit and get them all ready for YouTube and then upload them and still trying to figure out all the technical stuff about right camera angles and lighting and things like that. Um, <clears throat> it's a little much, so um, I'm going to be doing them once a week. So look for the videos once a week, okay? Um, <clears throat> what do we have for you tonight? Tonight I have a lavender pre-shave oil from Monroe Shaving Company. We're going to be using Barbershop Shaving Soap from Monroe Shaving Company. Um, <clears throat> The scent profile on this barbershop is a um, is a bergamot and basil with um, with white patchouli, so it's very very nice. And then uh, I'm gonna finish that up tonight with bay rum aftershave. All right, so let's get started. Um, so as far as like a pre-shave oils. I'm going to kind of talk a little bit about pre-shave oils because um, <clears throat> it is seems to be in some of the videos that I've seen here lately that um, folks are talking about it. Oh, come on. Here we go. <clears throat> Why pre-shave oils? What do they do? Things of that nature. <clears throat> so, why pre-shave oil? <clears throat> well, somebody mentioned about using pre-shave oil in a video about how you wash and clean your face and um, you've got natural oils in your face and why would you add more oils on top of a face that you already have oils on so <clears throat> for me pre-shave oil does a couple things one put it in before you get all your stuff ready it will help soften up the hairs but ultimately it is a moisturizer. It is a pre-shave moisturizing. I have sensitive skin, so a pre-shave oil does me very good. Does my skin good. Um, when you put it in and let it soak in, <clears throat> it soaks into your skin and gives you an extra layer of moisture. Now, if you already know that soap pulls the moisture off or, off or out of your skin, then you'll know that using shaving soap is the same thing. So the process of shaving with a blade and all that stuff, same thing. It's going to pull the moisture out of your skin. What I've done is I've just put pre-shave oil on, so it's pre-loaded my skin with extra oil. So that when the soap goes on and the process goes through, it's pulling that top layer of oil off but underneath I'm still retaining a good bit of moisture. So as I'm talking, this is actually setting in. So that's the purpose of pre-shave oil for me. Now there are other benefits to it, like um, it helps glide the blade over your skin. Well, yeah, but you're not really gonna feel that. You may or may not. But for pre-shave, people who don't know about pre-shaves or don't use them or not sure about them, or you're experimenting with them, what I would say is pay attention to the way your skin feels after the shave, immediately, in between passes, when you rinse off your face, how does your skin feel? Does it still feel nice and moisturized? That's the challenge. That's where you're going to notice the pre-shave. You're not going to notice it through the shave as far as blade glide. Now, every advertisement I know of says, well, it aids in blade glide. And for the most part, yeah, it does. But are you going to tell that using it the first time? Probably not. But you are going to notice it, or I say you're going to notice it, because when I notice it is in between passes when I'm rinsing my face, and when I'm done and I'm getting ready to put a uh, aftershave on, or I'm done with the initial taking the soap off my face. That's where I feel it in my skin, soaked in, and it gives me that extra layer of moisture, so it doesn't dry you out or dry me out. Um, <clears throat> A lot of soaps in there have all those moisturizing oils, the shea butters, the coconut oils, the um, kokum um, butters, and those are really good moisturizers, and they do help help preserve the moisture in your skin. 
Like I said, for me, I have sensitive skin. So even a shea butter or a coconut butter base shaving soap still pulls a lot, pulls moisture or oils off your face. It's just the process of what soap does. So just using a pre-shave oil just helps keep that moisture and locks it into your face. I mean, that's it. That's really all it comes down to. Um, <clears throat> equipment, what are we gonna use? All right, I got the Parker. I'll squeeze it out here. Got the Parker. Uh, black Badger. This is their marble handle. Great weight. Really nice Black Badger brush. I love this one. Oh, it's my favorite. You're going to see it a lot. It's my favorite brush, so you'll see it a lot. Um, <clears throat> it's a 22 millimeter. And then my first razor that I ever purchased, the one that I learned on, was a Mula R89. And I've got this a three piece. So you unscrew the unscrew the head like this, and then you have the safety ball that comes off, and then the head there. So I'm going to tighten this back up. I have already preloaded it with a Shark Super Chrome blade. This will be its third use, okay? Um, we used it in the last two videos. I used the same blade in the variant. I usually get about five shaves out of a blade before I have to dispose of it. So this will be the third one for this one. All right, so here we go. <coughs> you have to pardon me for the, uh, I may cough every once in a while. Um, <clears throat> the weather here is horrible. It's fluctuating between 60 as a high. It'll fluctuate 68 degrees as a high for two days. And then the next two days, the high will be somewhere like 46 or 47. I'm just going to go straight into the tub here. Now, I didn't bloom this. So you got a brush that's been soaking, but I did not bloom the soap. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, um, yeah, fluctuation in the, uh, in the weather around here is just absolutely horrible. Everybody's getting sick. My wife's been sick. My kids have been sick. And I am holding my own. <clears throat> Although I'm starting to get the uh, <clears throat> scratchy throat and stuffy noses at night and things of that nature. So, all right. So you can see that it's coming along very nice there. And this is just pulling it straight out of the jar. So lavender scent pre-shave oil. I do. I make. I make my own. Uh, pre-shave oil and I do that because when I found pre-shave oil I found it from a certain company that is pretty well known within the shaving industry as a retailer and uh, I didn't really care much for their shaving cream so to speak but the pre-shave oil I'd never heard of it until um, until I found it through them and then when I got it you know I really liked it and thought it was a cool thing and and then I was like, oh, well, I'll go purchase some of that. And I saw the price tag along with all the other soap that they sell and other products. And my name is a common sense, common sense shaver. Common sense, as in money sense, as in it shouldn't cost a lot of money. We do it every day. Why are you going to pick my pocket? There's just some companies out there that charge a fortune for it. And the ingredients in them are not... Are not that expensive there are other you know soap makers out there that make them and I say I sh let me clarify this we're talking about a huge company that makes a soap and overprices it when you have artisan soap makers out there they're using the same pretty much the same ingredients not the same recipe but the same ingredients and it doesn't cost near what this certain store charges for their name brand products. So anyway, I went to go buy free shave oil because I thought it was really cool and I liked it. I liked the way it made my skin feel. And being a sensitive skin guy, I thought that was the, I was going to add that into my routine. And I have, except I saw the price tag on it and said, yeah, no. So I did my research and I found, uh, good ingredients that are good moisturizers for the uh, skin that can be put on like that raw and I made my own recipe and now I sell it so those are the reasons one why I use it and common sense I, I'm not paying that kind of price for pre-shave oil <clears throat> and I sell it at a common sense price so yeah there's my plug for my business all right, <clears throat> here we go. First pass 
uh, Mula R89 um, Shark uh, Super Chrome. I'm gonna say this is the third. This is the third use on this blade, and it's no problems going through. I've got about two days worth of growth right now, which is unusual. I've had a couple days off, so I've been able to grow more facial hair than I'm used to growing. Well, in a little bit, we'll talk about the mustache contest when I get all this off my face. And when I'm comparing razors that I own, you know, the last few videos I've done has been with the uh, Parker variant. And I didn't learn on that. This is the one I learned on. And that's okay. Um, this is a very different razor. This razor is a lot more aggressive than the variant, and when I say aggressive, <clears throat> the aggressive comes as an adjustable. It has five settings on it. This razor, if I had to compare it, is somewhere along the mid-range of what the variant setting is, like a three, maybe a three and a half. But I learned on this razor and then I got the Parker variant, and you can dial it down to a one. <coughs> actually, if you play around with the adjustments, you can actually do a half, a one, a one and a half, a two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four and a half, and everything in between. Um, but when you get up to five, you can actually usually get about three more settings out of it. So you can actually get that thing up to about an eight, so to speak. And it's very aggressive on the high end, but on the low end as a one, that thing is baby smooth. So if you got a Parker variant, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, and if you don't, you should get one. All right, I'm gonna rinse this off and get ready for a second pass. All right. <laughs> so here you can see my mustache a little bit better. <clears throat> as far as the mustache contest, it's going really well. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> like I said, uh, we uh, have rules where we're not doing the whole beard and all that stuff, but that's more of a company thing for us than choice. And uh, so it's going really well. My, I don't grow a mustache. I don't usually have one, so everybody's getting a kick out of seeing me with a uh, mustache. And let's be honest, you wouldn't call it much of a mustache. I have to say that. That's my disclaimer, I don't grow them. I don't consider it a mustache. It looks like a dirty lip on me. So, but that's the reason I don't grow them. But what's interesting is I was looking at this bad boy and uh, noticed that there's a, uh, there's actually more hair than it appears that's on it. Those hairs are what I'll call blonde. And you know what that means. I'm at the age now that they ain't really blonde. There's a whole bunch of gray ones coming in that bad boy. So, I've been teasing the guys at work that I, I may go get me some just for men and put on it and see if it'll darken and thicken it up a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. I am of that age. I know I'm. people tell me I don't look my age. And that's fine. I appreciate that. But it's the uh, those little white hairs that pop out on top of my head and those that are in my mustache that remind me of how old I am. 
I got a buddy at work. I pick on him about his age, and he keeps looking at me. He says, you keep having them birthdays there, teenager. So, all right, second pass. Here we go. Cross grain. And I usually do two passes. That's all it takes for me. Hmm, felt a little bite right there. So speaking of biting, um, <clears throat> I noticed that this blade, I have used sharks before in the past and never had much of a problem and actually really like them. And I know there's some out there that are fans of sharks. Here's my question for you. Have you ever gotten a bad pack of sharks? And here's the reason I ask that. Generally speaking, I've really enjoyed them. Um, but this box, yeah, I bit myself a couple of times. This box, this box of blades just seemed to be really, really aggressive. Um, and like the first two or yeah, first two uses are really, really aggressive, and then they mild out close to number five, which I kind of expect that out of a blade as it gets duller. But for this one, I don't know what it is about this box of blades. They're just super aggressive coming out, and I just, I don't know. I'm just, I don't recall the last box I got being so aggressive. So I'm kind of wondering, leave a comment, let me know what's your thoughts about the shark blades. What, um, do you like them? Do you, you know, do you have problems with them? Have you ever gotten a box of duds? Right, just let me know. Talk to me. All right, I'm going to clean this up and uh, we'll look for a touch up and we'll go from there. Like I said, two passes usually does me pretty good. A little bit. Uh, under the neck's always the fun part. Different angles. We'll go back in there like that. Go against the grain just a little bit right there. All right. All right, get cleaned up, rinsed up, we'll go to the Allen block. It's a little spicier than I usually get.
Um, like I said, I, it's not the razor, but the blades. This pack of blades have just been so aggressive. And the last time that I used sharks, I don't recall it being that way. It was pretty smooth. But this box, just a little bit on the aggressive side. <clears throat> All right, we'll rinse this Allen block off and we'll get to the shape. So like I said, um, for me, the, uh, the pre-shave oil is all about in the post is when I notice it. And I can feel, I can feel that moisture that was not stripped away. That's a lot different than not having used it at all. I can feel it. So anyway, that's just my story on pre-shave oil. Like I said, for me, you know, I, I mix it, I mix my own stuff up and use it. And I just don't see charging an arm and leg for it. Um, so anyway. <clears throat> Alright. Bay rum aftershave. Here we go. So once again, using the Monroe aftershave or the Monroe Shaving Company aftershave. <coughs> Ooh, I can remember what that cold's trying to get here. I'm fighting it off. Hopefully, I can make it to the weekend and relax a little bit doing the extended Thanksgiving dinner with the or the early Thanksgiving dinner with the extended family that's the way that should be said so that'll be a lot of fun this weekend seeing all the cousins and the aunts and the uncles and and then on Thanksgiving of course our immediate families will get together but we try to get together as like the big family and do stuff you know when you have married couples that all have in-laws and all that stuff trying to fit everybody into them one house at one day yeah that's a lot so a weekend before thanksgiving we get together and celebrate as a huge family and then we do our immediate family on thanksgiving man that feels good so it's all gone that's the good thing about this this uh aftershave is um you know i i don't know whether to call it a a um a, a blash or splom because it's so in between a splash and a bomb it's very liquidy like a splash would it goes on very much like a splash would go on but it's you know got that creamy color um, and it's full of moisturizer so when it goes on your face it really moisturizes a lot like a bomb the difference is is it, you notice I didn't like rub elbows and like try to find funky places to put it because it's all gone it's it's in the face and I don't have to I mean, in theory, it's it's good. it's all gone. That's what I love about it. It soaks in, it stays in, it stays in all day. So anyway, all right. As a recap, what do we use? Well, let's just brush off a little bit. Parker Black Badger, 22 millimeter marble handle. Love that thing. It's got some great weight to it. Um, the Mula R89, three-piece razor, first one I ever purchased. Really like it. I'm probably attached to that one more than the other ones because of the fact it's my when I learned on. It's the uh, OG of my shaved in, so to speak. All right, let's see. We had Monroe shaving, Monroe shaving um, uh, lavender pre-shave oil. And then we did the, uh, well, I got to find the lid. Where would it go? There it is. There's the lid to it. The uh, um, barbershop shaving soap. And then we finished it off with the Bay Rum aftershave. So 
Um, really good. Uh, really enjoyed it. So uh, as my last uh, my last uh, little hoorah here is uh, had a great week last week with the Marine Corps birthday and Veterans Day. I hope that all the veterans and Marines stayed safe out there this weekend, uh, enjoying their festivities. And, uh, and anything that you you were involved in, I, I hope that you uh, really enjoyed it. Uh, I had a good time this past weekend. And uh, even though my dogs, my dogs, my dogs, my dogs lost, um, and they dropped from number one down to number seven. Now, I'm a dogs fan, and um, I understand one thing, is that um, anytime we ever get somewhere in the top five, we fall out of it immediately. So I'm surprised that we lasted for number one as long as we did. I'm still proud of my dogs. We still got the SEC East, and we're still moving forward and everything, and we're going to put that behind us even at number seven. We're still number one in the SEC, so we're going to the SEC Championship. When we take that, we're not done. We're coming back, so just look out for it. Of course, that's what I say. We'll see if that actually happens because, like I said, I'm a dogs fan. We get to the top, and then we flounder to the bottom, and it's a wash for the season. So, But we'll see. Either way, go dogs, and uh, appreciate you watching. Um, comments. The Shark Blades, let me know what you think about them. Let me know if you've ever had a bad box of them, maybe a bad batch. I don't know, quality sir, um, quality assurance on it. I don't know. Um, like I said, the first time I ever used them, I really, really liked them. This time, yeah, you know, I could probably go without doing that again. Um, but then again, razor to blade is different for, you know, back and forth. Anyway, that, that, that blade may be good in another razor handle, just not that great in this one. And so forth and so on. So um, I'm not completely uh, discounting because my other shaves were fine. And I've got another one coming up uh, where I'm going to use a uh, twist to open style razor. That'll be the next video, twist to turn style. And we'll be using the sharp blades on that. So maybe, maybe, uh, maybe it'll be different in that one. Uh, we don't know. We'll find out next week. Anyway, appreciate you watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what your thoughts are. Talk to me. Uh, let me know. Uh, also, down at the bottom, I'll put links to the Monroe Shaving Company uh, um, websites to order. And uh, for you guys, we're doing a, uh, a end of the year special, 30% off the jars, 30% off the jars, um, four ounce jars, 30% off. Promo code would be down below. Anyway, other than that, appreciate you. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful night. Have a wonderful week. Until next week. Thanks.